Hi, it's Andy again, and uh, today I'm going to do another video using the uh, Android Wearables uh, SDK. Uh, they give you three sample apps when you sign up for um, the SDK, and you're allowed to once you get approved and you can use it. Um, so I wanted to just give you a quick run through of what those apps look like, and uh, they give you all the source code and everything like that. Um, I can't post it because they they tell you not to. Um, anything with that jar file that they use to um, that has the library for this uh, do, because it's subject to change and all this other stuff they don't actually want it being publicly posted so um, if you want to get a hold of these apps basically just sign up for it and um, I got it within a couple of minutes so if you really want them you can run them uh, you actually run the apps on your phone uh, not on the, the where um, so here's the the Android uh, Wear, and um, now I'm using a square. Earlier in a video, I showed you how to set up a round one. Um, th the process for setting up a square one is exactly the same, um, but I wanted to show you the apps. So this is actually what my device is showing right now. Uh, this is my uh, Note 2. So as you can see, um, if I drop down this, you see I have a notification for new items on Woot. Uh, on shirt. Um, today is the 18th, um, so uh, there's actually a Rudolph going on. So these have been popping up like crazy. Um, so that's why you see them here. Basically, if you are currently using the regular notification system, you're good to go. That's all going to show up exactly the same. Um, there's some new ones with the big picture. Well, actually, I don't think they're new. They're just um, jelly bean features. So uh, or maybe even ice cream sandwich but um those are i'm, I'm going to show you how those work um with uh, one of the apps but one of the ones that they gave you is a uh, eliza chat and this allows you to kind of test out how the the response is going to work um so here when i'm replying uh you use your keyboard that's why you have to use the you set up the the keyboard hardware keyboard to be um active because instead of using your voice like I'm using right now you're actually not going to use that at all you use your keyboard but on the device you would be using your voice so uh, here we go I'm gonna kind of says hi there how can I help you you can just say how are you doing today and they just give you a generic response so this is kind of how it's gonna look all right so if I can keep so see how it saves, and it's done. It gets sent back to the phone. Uh, I might have screwed that up. Yeah, let me try it again. Ah, of course I did. Let's see if I can keep the phone awake so that this all works. Save. This one doesn't seem to work all that well. I've used, I've, I got it to go for a little bit and then it kind of screwed up. So let's try relaunching it and see if that works. And wait for it to show up on here. There we go. So let's swipe up. Let's just type in like, hello. I think it just gives you a bunch of random responses. Yeah, see? How do you do? Please state your problem. I don't know where. Let's respond. Ah, well, you can edit it or whatever. But um, let's see. So, I mean, it's just a bunch of stupid little responses, but this is kind of to demonstrate that instead of typing, you're going to be using your voice uh, input instead, saying like, okay, Google, or it'll probably just be listening once you hit the reply. Um, so that's the Eliza chat. It's um, just a stupid little, you know, random response thing based on what you type 
it puts out something else and completely useless. So uh, another video, another um, app that they give you is a recipe app. Let's see, recipe assistant. So let's do recipe assistant. Okay, so this is actually kind of cool. This is probably the most uh, useful app for showing you ideas of what you can do with um, with this uh, with the Android Wear. So let's do guacamole. I like guacamole. So when you load it up on your um, phone, you'll see okay, and then here are all the the directions for for making the guacamole. But you know, I to be honest, yes, it kind of sucks to sit there with your phone and do um, make make something. Um, I use my tablet, but you know, this is kind of uh, an idea where they're going with you know usefulness for using the Android Wear. So in order to get it sent to the Android Wear, you hit start. So once we hit start, oh, I have to hit it on the device, not click on it. Okay, so I hit start. So then you get this little icon here, and it will show up on here. There it is. So here's the guacamole. Now when you swipe to the left, there's five steps. So if you look here on your phone, there's five steps. Um, you can't see the bottom of it because it's too big. But there's five steps, and then it goes through each one of them. Um, you can just swipe to see them. So here, 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 and mix thoroughly. So guacamole is pretty easy, um, but that's a nice, cool idea of how to how to use the app. Um, another app that they give you is uh, this notification. So if you're not familiar with how the notifications work in Android, this is the way to do it. It says wearable notifications, but to tell you the truth, it's not really all that unique. I mean, these are already in Android and um, uh, available right now. So once you see this icon here in the top left corner of the screen, these are ready to go. So here's a basic example of a title, um, inbox, let's change it, it'll show up on here, which you, if you have an email client, you're probably used to it already. There we go. So inbox style, Let's do a big picture. This is probably one of my favorite ones, actually. The big picture style looks pretty. I like that one. That's my favorite. And um, the include content intent down here is why you have this example uh, action and uh, open. Or sorry, open is the include content intent, and example action would be a single action. So if I were to change this to reply action you're actually probably gonna have uh, let's see alright and I passed it or no there it is see there's a reply action so this is kind of a good app to see all the different um, examples that you can do for a notification. So if you're not familiar with notifications in Android, this is a good app to go look through the source and uh, get yourself familiar with it. Because uh, this will probably be the most helpful use of, um, of the Android Wear, or most common use you're going to see of the Android Wear. And uh, the cool thing is if I click on something here, um, so I'll click on this you'll see um, how I can actually respond so okay uh, let's see let's open so we'll open it and you'll see oh, you can't see the toast message um, let's pick a different notification why don't we do woots we'll do woots for now so we click on this we slide it over we open up the app and you can see on here it opens up the app So that's uh, basic um, examples of what they've provided in the SDK of what you can and can't do with the Android Wear. Uh, don't expect to be making apps to load onto Android Wear. This is probably going to be something that you're going to uh, build an Android app that then responds to the, to the device via Bluetooth or however they plan on 
um, doing it. Most likely Bluetooth, probably Bluetooth 4.0. So here's a quick tutorial video, and um, hope you enjoyed it, and to see what you what um, what the future has in store. All right, have a good day.